Hi guys and girls, I'm Obsidian Ant and welcome to the Commanders. That's patch 2.3 for Elite Dangerous. The patch has just arrived in beta form and I'm taking an initial look at it here. So the first thing I want to look at in today's video, or in this first video, is the Hollow Me. This is the Commander Creator and it is a mirror, basically, of the character we're going to create. And you can see the little hologram forming in there and uh, that is the one of the default options. Uh, let's have a look what we got here. So we can choose between our gender, male and female. It looked like she was going to have a moustache for a moment there, didn't it? Let's just have a look at that again. Just the very last moment, you get the hologram forming in around the lips. And for the female, it looked like it was going to draw her in a little tash. There you go. Right, so... Now, there should be some default options here somewhere. And we can see here we've got the female uh, presets. Is there really 50 presets there? That is loads. So some seriously nice uh, variations are there on the theme. All looking very different. We're not going to go through all 50 of these, don't worry. But find a preset that I'd like to start with let's go with this one head type so we go go through all of these completely different there we've got four options there this is a head type we can go through rough smooth heavy veteran and back to rough again so we're going to go with smooth on this we can choose skin base not sure exactly what that does for us oh here we go okay And we can choose age. Now, I looked in at the live stream that Frontier did on this early on. Did very much like the way the age progressed along. And let's have a look to see how it actually goes. Now it's in my hands. You can see the age, age lines. In a very early age, just forming around the mouth here and just slightly under the eyes. So it's, it's subtle. It's not and around the neck as well. It's subtle. It's not anything overly dramatic, at least not until you get to the older older levels, I'd assume. Let's have a look here around the neck, and have a look there around the neck, rather. You can see even, I don't know how well that shows up on the video, but you can see that even there there's some subtle changes as we progress through the age cycle. And as we get into slightly older age, you can see furrows in the brow, some crow's feet around the eyes. Works remarkably well, doesn't it? And look here, with the skin around the nape of the neck there. Moving on to scars then, let's see how these apply. Now unfortunately, the way it does just drift across the lip there, it, it seems more like a, a decal rather than a scar blended into the skin, where these other ones look like they are actually form a part of the face itself. So, depends where it's applied, you can see how that wrinkles across the nose there. Again, I don't know how well that comes up on the video, but I'll try and render this to the usual high quality, so hopefully you'll see as much of this as we actually can. Unfortunately, there's no keys bound to um, rotating. I'm going to correct that in a minute, and I'll do that for the uh, male character. Before I go into the male character, I'll put a little cut in there and make sure I've got the keys bound so we can have a look around the uh, character a little bit. So let's have a look at the hair. As you can see, the shaders here for the hair are pretty nice. Not so great for some of these longer ones, mind, but the shaders for the short hair. So, there's a number of facial features we can look at then. Let's jump in and have a look at those, starting with the eyes. Let's see how many presets. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 9. So, nine different presets there. And of course, we can look at the uh, customize drop down there and completely customize any of these facial features. Now, I won't go through and customize every single fa face feature here because we're going to be here too long. But if you want to see more, let me know. Let's customize the mouth. We can blend the weight of the mouth. You can see. Change in there. We can have a look at the width of the mouth. Now, we can change this anytime we like from within our ship. You saw me do it from the Hollow Me menu. And like you saw, it brings up a hologram of your uh, commander and you can choose your appearance. And as soon as we save and exit, that applies the appear that applies the appearance I'm nearly laughing there. That applies the appearance of the uh, hologram to our actual character. So 
I'll test it out in a minute. For, from what I understand, we can change this as many times as we like, as often as we like. So we can change race and sex as and when suits us. Nice to be able to change the blend of the upper lip as well as the uh, lower lip as well. And the overall uh, head size. Now it's a little bit difficult because obviously I haven't got the uh, rotation controllers bound to the character. So we can't see from the sides just yet. But like I say we'll go back to that shortly. And let's see what we got under cosmetics. And there's no cosmetics selected. So, either they're not in beta just yet. Let's go back there a second. Now, forehead, I would imagine, would be tattoos of various types. So, they're either not in the beta at the moment, or they're going to come as purchasables from the uh, Frontier store. Nothing on the chin. What can we have for the neck? Nothing for the neck. Odd. Unfortunate as well. So go back to body type again. Unfortunately, you can't change your body size, it would seem. But we can change our outfit. We've got six suits here by the looks of it. These are just singular solid colours. And I quite like the black one. Which she already had, didn't she? So let's go for a different one, the grey. Headgear, what have we got here? We've either got a helmet or no helmet. And we can have the transparent faceplate or the solid one. The opaque helmet. And we can choose to have that deploying during emergencies only, or have that as always on. Which I know that's an option quite a lot of people are actually asking for. So you don't need to have a face. Let's have a look at face patches. Oh no, not patch, face patches. Where do I read that from? Have a look at body patches here. So, we've got various decals here that we can go through, and we're going to have a closer look at these once I've bound the keys. So, I'm going to be back in just a moment. Right, cameras, camera keys bound. Let's go back into the Hollow Me and see if that's actually worked. So, here comes our girl. And there we go. Fortunately, there doesn't seem to be a zoom. Let's just go to these shoulder decals again. All right. So we can have our elite status. We've got our pirate decal. One of two, one of four, actually. Our Imperial logos. Federal logos, trader, penniless, combat Incoming harmless. Mission critical message. Okay, so what we're going to do then is quickly go through this again on the mail this time, and this will be my initial uh, character that I may or may not stick with, and we do want the black suit here. Got a few other colours. Nice golden one there, look at that. I do hope that if Frontier are going to put the, well they did say they're going to put these onto the uh, store as purchasables, I do hope they come up with something more than just solid paint colours like they did with the ships. I mean, really, if we're going to pay money for these, then they really should look decent, don't you think? So let's quickly get to this now. Have a quick look at a few of the presets here. Again, probably 50 odd presets. Do like the old guy. <clears throat> he looks a bit unhealthy, doesn't he? This guy here. Like he needs a bit of sun. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go with the old guy. I love the detail on on him. 
Get rid of his moles. Give him a few freckles, freckles perhaps, or... Oh, perhaps nothing. A symmetry. Yep. We got a cleft chin on the scar. Do we, what, do we want to give him a scar? How about we go with no scar? I have a feeling that every other pilot is going to have a scar, so let's go for one that isn't. So he's a veteran at the moment. There he is with a slightly younger face. There he is with a rough face. So we stick with the uh, veteran face there. Let's have a look at here. Receding hairline. Mohawk. Dreads. Seems they've gone through this and set up the uh, default ones pretty well. Certainly the selections I would have chosen anyway. Right, beard. Let's go for a slightly scruffy look. Beard scruff. Oh, it's already there. Uh, it's double match here. Beard type. Let's go for something a bit different. Nice big bushy beard. Let's go for the full beard. Match hair colour. No, I want that slightly lighter. Can we? Can we have it slightly lighter? Oh, one. Let's give some slightly older, darker eyebrows. Looking good. Right, so there we have it. I'm going to pretty much stick with this for the moment. I'll spend some more time planned with this when I'm not watching a video, because obviously this video has got on to be very long. So I might edit it down a little bit to try and make it a bit shorter. But we're going to save and exit that. And we'll be back very shortly with another video looking at the new content in the Commanders. As always, thanks for watching. And I catch you guys and girls next time.